one of our Mondrian Abstract Art unit in Google Drive, specifically using Google Sheets. Um, so this is going to be a pretty easy lesson today. I'm really excited about it. Um, let me move myself over to here. Okay. There we go. So what you see in front of you, there are seven squares. Each of them are 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wide by 10 tall. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make Mondrian art with them. So what you need to start off by doing, I'm going to only do one. You're going to do all seven. I'm going to just start making different shaped rectangles. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag my mouse so that I highlight a few squares. Do you see that? I highlighted three wide by four down. And then over here, there's this button and it's essentially, or it says merge cells. So I click that and all of a sudden, do you see how it just became one rectangle? So I'm going to do that with the whole thing. Just going to highlight and merge. Highlight and merge. Highlight and merge. It doesn't really matter what shapes you make. I would just say that you should make them different. Highlight and merge. Highlight and merge. Whoops, I don't like that. See how I put two that are exactly the same right next to each other? You can do that, but I'm choosing not to in this case. Okay, let me finish this up very quickly. One like that. Like this. This. Okay, so now I've got everything broken up into different shaped rectangles. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add color. Now what you've probably noticed in other Mondrian art is that there's a he doesn't color in all of them. There's actually probably more white rectangles than there are colored ones. So I'm just going to add a few colored ones. So what I do for that is I click on a rectangle or a square, and then right here there's this paint bucket, and I'm going to click on it. And the colors that he uses are red, yellow, and blue. So I'm going to pick red for the first one. Then I'm going to go over here, maybe this one. I'm going to change this one. Remember, click the paint bucket. I'm going to do yellow on that, and then I'll go to this corner, and I'm going to do blue. Now I'm going to work my way in just a little bit more. Just do maybe one more of each color. You can do it however you want, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Mm, maybe not that one. Let's do this one. Do that one. And I'll make that blue. And I guess I'll make one more blue one, just for fun. OK, so there's my first one. What you will do after you complete your first one is you'll do the next six. And then once you finish that, right here at the bottom, so these are all 10 by 10, which means 10 wide by 10 tall. On the next one, it says 20 by 20, and there's two of these that I want you to work on. Okay? That should be it. Thanks, guys.